are the cornerstone of America's military arsenal. Dropping bombs on Bosnia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Libya, and Yemen. Unmanned aerial vehicles, known as drones, have become the trademark of Washington's war missions, targeted assassinations, and spying operations overseas. But today, the local police department's using unmanned spy planes uh, to catch suspects. The remotely piloted war weapon is flying domestic. U.S. local police and federal officials are increasingly using drones under the auspices of keeping citizens safe. Police departments are using them in the United States. There's been, I think, almost 266 applications that have been approved for police departments to use drones as aerial surveillance devices. Drones can be armed with a wide range of surveillance technology, including high-power zoom lenses and infrared ultraviolet imaging. As the U.S. government flies prying eyes through the sky, lawmakers have neglected to create any privacy protections for American citizens. All of this is conscious and intentional, and they're putting in place a method of controlling a population that may be unemployed and hungry and uh, very angry. And I think that the state and local police are not just militarized, but they're being federalized. The agencies keep using more and more of these to justify their existence. So then they can say, we need this to crack down on drugs. We need this because there are a lot of robberies in this neighborhood. We need this. The United States is not only now a military industrial complex, it's a homeland security complex. They've merged into one. In 2006, Arrow Vironment, a drone manufacturer, received $4.7 million from the U.S. Defense Department to develop new unmanned aerial vehicles. The newest and smallest invention is Hummingbird, a palm-sized, cute-looking spy plane weighing less than one pound. There can be a very lucrative market in the United States for drones with police departments who are already militarized from tanks to assault vehicles to assault rifles, flak jackets, helmets. The, the modern police look like the military, and so now they're going to be using military equipment. A fresh lawsuit has been slapped against the U.S. Department of Transportation for allegedly withholding records pertaining to the domestic use of drones. Currently, the American public cannot find out why drones are being used or who is controlling them. Every corner there's a, a closed circuit camera watching what you're doing. So now we don't only have them on the ground, we have them from the air. This month, the Federal Aviation Administration is expected to propose new rules, making it easier for law enforcement agencies to fly drones through America's democratic sky. War weapons used overseas to keep the U.S. safe now being considered a serious threat to U.S. freedom at home. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.